My journey started uh, 2015. But before 2015, I already uh, make a step of traveling to Malaysia. So, which may say uh, at the end it didn't work out. I went and uh, come back. So, in 2015, I, by, by the end of 2015, I was able to start said I want to travel, but I don't know. Yeah, so the journey started in 2015, which I started from Lagos State. So, I got to Lagos that day. Then the the morning of it, I started moving to um, uh, Kotonu, which is uh, Niger uh, Benin Republic. So from Benin Republic, uh, I took me to I took them till evening. From evening, oh, I have to buy ticket, and uh, on that on the process, I met with some Nigerians that are already on their way also because I thought it was only me already on their way and some other African people so we started that journey with a, a big this uh, luxury bus and then the journey started which took three days so on our way to Niger there is a boundary for a boundary that I mean between Niger and uh, the Republic. So they said, uh, one guy came and said, uh, for you to cross this boundary, now the other side, they might kill you guys. So for my, in my mind, I said, well, uh, uh, somebody, a dead man is already, who can kill a dead man? So we are already, we know that this is a, uh, for in my mind, I know this journey is either life or death. So anyone that come out, yeah, I know it or I have it in mind already. So it is either you, I am alive or I am dead. So the police there, they begin to take our passport and you have to bribe them, put money inside the passport and bribe them. So we cross that we cross and we just a bridge to Niger and we started in the bush because all this I'm saying is desert inside bush not just mm. tie road so okay. in the bush in the bush so it's not as if there is a beautiful road in right, the tire yeah. and where the car was passing no 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 you know like a village road okay. a typical bush that anything can come out and the the rebel may come out and attack you. So it's a big typical bush. Then we started the journey, we got to a place called uh, whether it's sent there before before um, before Agades. Agades is like a former capital of Niger according to them. So we got there we we drink water and all that, and we started the journey. We go to a particular bush, set of bush. When we go there, they ask all of us to come down, and they, and they begin to drag us, the soldiers. They are not, they are not just soldiers. Any soldier you see there is a rope face, uh, it's like a terrorist. So they drag us into one, one dark house, dark room that you can't even see each other. And we are there thinking maybe that is the end of how we the journey. And by God's grace, they late after like five hours, they came and said we should go and search us anything you have. They you give them or they take it by force. So we started the journey. It was like three and three to four day journey. Then we go to. Uh, Agades. So we we'll go to Agades, they came to pick us and I started following those guys. They took us to one place 
uh, they call it Kambo, from there to um, from there to Sahara Desert is like um, 30 minutes, so you can feel the heat. You can feel the heat, and Niger is a place where there's a big hunger there, big hunger. So from that place, we started. We started staying there, and everybody we are making, you know, everybody was like rushing. Oh, they want to leave that environment. Who do I call? Nobody. You have to call people to send money to you so so that you pay those guys. They put you in a loss. Uh, um, he lost. Yeah, they will load he lost. One he lost will be like 50 people. Oh, yeah, they normal. Uh, yeah, so they will load and pack and pack. So, but that day, I call nobody to call. So there is no need of calling. Uh, the only person that I remember I could call, I call a brother, and which is my elder brother. Let me put it that way. It's my elder brother, and he said I should come back. I said, for me to come back, the car that will bring me home, let that car burn to ashes, so that they will not see my dead body. That was the statement, and they were shot. And I cut off the car, blocked the number. I did not want anything. My own is that I have signed this, this journey is either dead or alive. So what is the need coming back? So on that uh, day, I call another uh, uncle of mine, and I was explaining that I just needed that thousand naira, even twenty thousand, which is like maybe forty euro, to just pay this people and go. I thought this journey was a joke. He didn't pick my He said, and you have money. You hear that people die and there is core and dead body in that on that road and you put your head. I said that is not the problem. The problem the issue now is that I have started the journey and I must finish it. So he didn't pick my call again. So I decided not to call anybody. So from that moment of uh, September, yeah, it was September. It was uh, September. From that September, October, November, December, I was in that environment, sleeping on the floor. The whole dust on this world is there. The heat. If it was that year that they said that uh, for more than ten years rain just fall. Rain does not fall because more than ten years. More than ten years, no rain. So, and if the rain falls, sometimes it will break down some houses. So, for more than 10 years, because everything there is mud house. So, we, sometimes the government will be using a helicopter to come and break uh, some camp where like, Africans are hiding to cross the south. So, I stayed there one month, two months. I will go. That is how I was staying two months, three months. So it was only, the only thing I know to do was praying. And uh, if you see one of my pictures, if I show you, you would think maybe I went for holiday in hellfire. So my whole body was dark. No cream, nothing, nothing, no food, nothing, no food. Niger is a place where goat and uh, cow will be eating cloth. So nobody would, you dare not put your cloth outside like to spray. Or cut up, so no food. We started December of it. I was weeping, crying, God, how do I move out of this environment first? So we, we became like uh, camp bulls and people that are taking that is where we, I started the journey of taking care of others. Whereas I am not moving anywhere. Me and one brother called Kunle. We started taking care of others. We become like a camp boss. So when they brought people, we would cook. We would cook, and inside of it, so many temptations. Some women that are possessed will come. Oh, one one particular girl I could remember put on a person and must sleep with her. So I said, not to sleep with you is not a problem. But if I sleep with you, will you take me out of this environment? 
because I was praying like a madman. The whole verse, I was, I was seeing things that other could not see. In the afternoon, like this, like afternoon, I would come and I would be seeing, seeing running star. I would be seeing running star, but I don't understand. Our afternoon, I would be seeing star, running star. Nobody could see that. So I was like a kind of in another world at that moment. It was prayer. Prayer. God, this is you, this is me. I must reach where I'm going to. But my intention was not even, I don't even have mind for Europe first. Let me even reach Libya first before we talk of Europe. First. Just first, let me even move out of that environment. Who is talking of Europe? So we were there, I was there, one brother that came to meet me, people I know on Facebook, he sent it immediately, it didn't take almost, it didn't take two weeks, it's in Germany. My mind was like, hey, is this impossible? Someone that is with me now just got to Germany. And my mind was, I was still there, now that I have even gotten to Libya. I started talking, he himself was like using my name, he wanted to use my name and to do for the woman, the white woman and uh, I started, I have to, I don't have, I don't want to open up his ears with the woman so I just have to cover him up and so that he won't be in trouble and I cut off from them so that I just focus on, my, on myself. Then one faithful day, there is two guys from Nigeria, they came and we were cooking, me and that brother, we were cooking for everybody. When we say everybody, we talk about like 200 people. So we cook for them, make sure they are okay, make sure the time for them to, to enter, for people to enter, for them to cross them from desert. We'll be the one, bring water for them, put everything, make sure, give them guideline. This is how you behave, or this is how you do. We that is giving guideline has not even, no hope of even moving. The money is not there, no hope. The people we are working for are not ready to push us. To push us. So, yes, once they move, I will start crying. So, that brother was one day we will make it, one day we will cross. Don't worry. So, we started doing, doing it like that. So many women will come, so many women. Both that the one that are possessed, both the which the real which you are talking about, you will see them alive. But at the end, God brought those two guys, and that was how one day uh, we they made call, and one of them they send money to him. Uh, they send money to one of them, so the money they have, their mother sent them. That was how those people said they will put me among. They beg those guys that is pushing that I am a good person to them that I take care of them that they would like me to join them and that was how we prepared that night I was having running stomach but I know the consequence of you stopping a driver that will carry you guys on the on desert it is either you die or you 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 don't go anywhere. I was run, uh, if they are on speed, the speed they are running, you know, like uh, this uh, car race. So it will be as if they carry one uh, uh, 20 inches uh, block, solid block, and put the throttle. The more car will be moving. Sometimes the car will just catch fire and burn. Sometimes the car will somersault. People will die. So, so many things on that day. So I know the consequence of telling the driver to stop, so I have to ask God to see my tummy, let this running stomach stop. So like a magic, we started that journey that day, they load everyone we enter, but I was really released. In fact, my strength has already gone because sleeping on the floor for more than four months, the day of December of that 2015, is only carried with carry, take carry. That was around 10 to 11 p.m. at night. From morning, no food. So it was only crying. What kind of journey is this one? Nobody. Who would I cry to? It was like your heart become a heart of uh, a heart of iron, sealed with iron. But inside you, you are dying. But nobody is seeing the tear. But inside yeah. you, the, you, you are feeling pain. So 
God did the dead, load every one of us, and we enter that uh, healers. And the journey started to Olivia. So when we we'll go to at that night we we'll go to Sahara, the main the main place. They say this is the main Sahara Desert. You could see a green leaves, but it's already it's already dry. And you could feel it. No, no, no demon on this planet Earth is not there. You have to be strong. Some people go there, they, are, they run mad. Some people go there, they run their mental, they lose their mental because of the spirit behind the desert. You see dead body, people that they have buried, people that have died, you see skeleton. So it's not a human being.